yet again for another exciting and fun fact show, uh, the South Day Chamber shout out. Today, we are so honored to have Kathleen Ballard with us. Good morning. How Thank are you? you. Good morning. So nice to be here. And, and you know, we, we, we talk about all kinds of things. We always talk about community. We'll come back to that. But we, you know, images. And, you know, that word is used so many ways and for so many different reasons. But um, in this particular case, images are important to you. Yes. Images yeah. are, are what you do. Right. Okay. Right. So Kathleen has uh, Ballard Photography. Yes. Okay. Do you call it Kathleen Ballard Photography? I call photography? it Kathleen Ballard Photography. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and and it, what's exciting about it is you're 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 right here. You're right in our community. Right. Um, your studio is out in the Redlands? Yes. Out in the Redlands off, off of 216th out near the Monkey Jungle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So... Um, North, um, but on the eastern side of uh, of, of Chrome. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good. And and you know, I'm a, I'm excited about what you do. I'm I'm a uh, a um, novice photographer at heart. And I say novice. Um, I've always been involved with cameras. My father um, did it uh, semi professionally, so oh, it was nice. something. Uh, okay. I've always had cameras around the house. I have a. a eight by 10 format camera, the oh, old wow. one with the wood All tripod right. and everything, yeah. you know, um, underwater videography and photography. I have three or four different complete setups. Um, and that's kind of what I do now. Oh, that's great. Um, I've done no under underwater. No, uh, no, yeah. it's, you, it's, you can teach me something. It's, um, <laughs> lighting is different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and use of lighting and, and things like that. So it's uh, something that I've I've always dabbled in, um, but not at the level that you do. But I, I've, I've got to ask you, because I know why for me, it was something that my dad did. Why photography? Well, I think, okay, so when I was a lot younger, I, I modeled for about 10 years. And when you were modeling, you, you, <clears throat> sorry, I need a little water. Um, when you were modeling, you learn everything about the camera because you're on the other side and you learn how, you know, to pose and what looks good and what looks bad. And you start to know which lighting is best for you. So when I hit, you know, a time when I started to have a family, I started taking pictures of my children. Mm -hmm. And then at the time, my mother, uh, my mother in law had a business and she, started recommending me and she recommended me for somebody's uh, wedding, which I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't know how to shoot a wedding, you know? And I was doing pictures all the time, but I had not started professionally. So that was my first introduction to really um, taking professional pictures. And that was back in the, in the non-digital age. So you had to think how many, how many rolls of film and how much each roll of film cost. And you were much more cautious in triggering, you know, each image, but um, shooting weddings teaches you a lot because mm -hmm. you have to think quick and you have to make people look good. And so that's sort of what got me started in, in um, photography. And then with children, I've always loved children and you just sort of morph into taking families and, you know, later on corporate and, and really all sorts of photography. I love it all. And, you know, that, that's an interesting thing that we, we don't think about a photographer um, wanting to make people look good or knowing that that's part of their responsibility. Uh, I remember several years ago, they, there was a thing called glamour shots that came oh, up, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. was all about, okay, we're, we're just going to make you look good. And it actually became, like the, I can't remember the term for when it's the, the word. So we would, we would call like a, 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 a um, Coca-Cola, you know, Coca-Cola is the, um, okay. But instead of using the brand name, we, yeah. we'd say Coke, you know, right, we're, we're right, talking right, about right. cola, you know, so glamour shot became the word for that really good looking photos. Like that's not you. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But you can do that with lighting and, and a good knowledge of the camera. Um, it is so important to know your subject and, and everybody's different. And I'm always telling people when I'm photographing, oh, that looks great. You look beautiful. And sometimes people say, oh, you say that to everybody. But what I'm looking for in a photograph is the beauty in each person. You know, some people may have 
uh, more symmetrical faces than others, but everybody has a, a beautiful quality. And, and I think that's what you try to pull out in every portrait, whether it's a corporate shot where you might want to make people look very professional or a beauty shot where you want them to smile or look sultry or, but you play with the lighting and you take all different angles of, of a person's face and you really try to capture what's inside, you know, that personality. And that's, that's what I'm looking for with, with every portrait. That's what makes it a lot of fun. Okay. So what do you specialize in? Well, I specialize in people. Um, you know, I would say every type of, of, of a portrait shot where like whether it's for your website, you need just a plain headshot. Or when when I'm shooting a corporate shot, I'll say, okay, you know, you can bring a change of uh, of shirt or a tie. We can try different things with you and start out more uh, three quarters or full length and then come in and do your headshot. So you have a nice variety to choose from. I, I like to give people, you know, not one or two pictures to choose from, but, you know, say a good 15, 20 shots. If it's a beauty shooting and you've changed, you've changed your outfit, you know, sometimes there's up to 50, you know, but they've maybe had three different pictures. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, corporate to, to beauty, senior portraits, you know, when they're sort of coming of age and, mothers and babies, families. Okay. Know. So we're going to look at some of your stuff, but let me, before we get to that, I, I know that we even have a couple of um, health photo, uh, not, but the banners and everything. And there were a couple of magazines. You did something, a, a cover for, for health. Uh, in, was it inside? Well, I have done a lot of covers for uh, the Florida villager. And I saw when I came to your studio this morning that, um, Deidre Marshall, who's actually a, a plastic surgeon, and um, I, she'd used my pictures for some other uh, covers, cover mm -hmm. shots that you had here. I think it was Health and was Inspire it? Health. Inspire Health. Mm -hmm. So, and I do pictures for people to use in their ads all the time. So, okay. that sort of thing. So, let's take a look at some of your stuff because I was looking at it earlier and I was uh, impressed. Um, you had said to me before the, the, we got sat down here that um, working on a person's eyes and making an eye, a person's eyes kind of sparkle, um, not that little ding that you see, right. in the, you know, yeah. but just naturally. Um, so this was a this was a corporate shot I took for uh, South State Bank. Uh, I think it was Center State Bank at this time. But um, um, this was they just wanted me to take pictures of the employees at different stages and places in the bank. And, and as you see, you know, how you put a lighting, you want to have a little shadow to create, you know, um, the a more interest in somebody's in, in their faces, but also with reflectors or little smaller lights, you pinpoint the eyes. Cause to me, the eyes, you know, are the windows to your face. You've got to, the eyes can tell anything. They right, can tell right. if you're bored, if you're happy, you know, what kind of mood you're in. So I always, I always like to have the eyes be, you know, highlighted and, and clear and okay. sharp. All right. Let me see the next one. Um, yeah, this was a woman who wanted a nice corporate shot. She was a realtor and, she, you know, I think for her website, you know, I can take three quarters and then we crop in tighter and, you know, she can use, she, she uses for her website and, and some of her promo material. Okay. And okay. This was one of the Florida villager covers and this man was, God, let me think of his name. He, he was, he was a great guy and he, I, I did his uh, covers a couple of times and I, I told him I, said, I want to use you in your car because what you want to show in a corporate shot is, you know, somebody who is, is, is like likable, but professional. And I think with him, he, he was very natural in front of the camera, which was 
great. You know, he mm-hmm. wasn't shy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, we did some group shots with with his office, too. Excellent. Yeah, this is our neighbors to the south. I mean, to the north. Sorry, our um, the, the villages. Yeah, well, that's the Florida villagers. So right. So. OK. And there's um, Deidre Marshall. Yeah, these, this is a lot of the Florida villager covers. This We took her over to. Um, oh, let's see. That was uh, Matheson Hammock and. And mm-hmm. she wanted something different than in the office because we'd done a few office pictures for her. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. It, it made a nice uh, back, background Very for nice. her. But as you can see in all these, you can see the eyes and sharp, crisp pictures. Um, here she is. Uh, this one was for she had an insurance agency. And like I say, a lot of these you come in and you don't have a lot of time because mm-hmm. they're on a time frame. Right, so you right. walk in and maybe you've got <clears throat> 15, 20 minutes. So you have to really know your lighting. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the hardest thing is the backdrop, the background. You come in and you're like, okay, here was nice because they had a blank wall. But mm-hmm. sometimes people's offices you know, can have a lot of stuff in the yeah, background. Yeah, so yeah. you're sort of looking for a nice, clean background to go with a nice okay. clean picture so we have um a couple of the family shots of the the uh let's see what was here Here we go go. lifestyle and fitness okay this woman actually i did this recently and those are her two children and she was a veterinarian so she wanted to have something life and fun with her dog. I said, you know, since she was a veterinarian, I said, well, bring your dog. We'll throw him in the picture. And uh, if, if this is look, in my, on my property here. Now, if you look at the, there's so much action, even with the dog looking at, you know, yeah. to the side, you know, and so that really, if you dissect that photo, that's a great photo. Thank you. Well, and I had them step back, run forward, step back, come forward. And, you know, you, you have to capture them in action and and the little boy on the right he was all over the place jumping up and down but but he came out great in the picture nice and um this is actually my daughter and my granddaughter and um that was just at their house on their front porch and what i try to do in family photography of all kind is is to show a relationship between you know this is mother daughter or the whole family you know you want you want to see that in in a family picture. Yeah, that, the eyes do jump right out at you. Right? You know, so, yeah. And you can tell the little girl, that's Eloise. She loves her mommy. I mean, she and she just loves her. And, and you know, sort of wrapped around each other is, is a sweet way to go with a family. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. And this one, you know, you can't even see the dad's face. He came with that great hat on i love the hat and so <clears throat> after we did some pictures of the whole group so there were there were uh, you know a mother and another little baby but we said oh let's get some of just just the boys and they're sort of roughhousing around and this is also a little bench on my property that that makes a, a great backdrop but as they were cutting up and just kissing each other i thought oh there we go. That's what we want, you so, know. So your property, you have inside and then in the studio and then outside as yeah. a backdrop. Uh, so basically, you can use everything at uh, for different purposes and different reasons right. in the photos. And when it gets hot, I do have long extension cords. A lot of times, I'll bring out a fan if people want an outdoor photo. I mean, mm-hmm. when you're in midsummer, okay, it's like. You know, yeah, not yeah. probably the best time. But when it starts to get muggy and hot, a lot of times I will bring a fan out to sort of help people be comfortable yeah, <laughs> and yeah. not be perspiring Absolutely. quite so much. Can we see the the next one, Julia? There you go. Uh, this is this is a dad with his little boy and the mother who loves fashion said, "Oh, I got the cutest little suit. I want to have these two together." And and so this, of course, is in the studio, and we played around. And this little boy is just so adorable. And, um, you know, we did a lot of different things where he's hugging his dad and everything. But that little face <laughs> sort of captured his personality. Yeah. So. Really, really great photo. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here we go. Here's yeah. another one. Uh, that suit kind of looks like uh, 
what's his name? Alfonso Ribeiro from uh, uh, America's Funniest Video. Oh, they yeah. Have those, yeah. those boxes of <laughs> every suit he has. There, so. Very nice. But you also do, oh, there's a. Here we a go. Great, Here's a group family. Yeah. And this is, um, uh, he. This, this man is actually a farmer and his wife and, and the two boys. The oldest one was a senior. And funnily enough, I sh probably shouldn't say this, but the two boys had been really arguing. The mother was all upset when she got there. She said, these boys were so bad and they were fighting last night. And she was so upset. And Can't see it in that photo. No. <laughs> and so once we started working together, you know, they sort of just warmed up. And, and I think it shows, you know, what I try never to do in a photo. A lot of times people tend to line up and they fold their hands and they think, what do I do? People don't know what to do with their hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you have to sort of guide them so everybody's not standing in a row with folded hands and it looks sort of like, you know, your school picture or something. So, you know, I usually try to tell people, oh, try putting your hand in your pocket. And, you know, we try different poses. And when people get sort of uptight, you have to stop and say, okay, don't even look at the camera right now. Just talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And once they sort of, you know, chat right. a little bit and then you go, OK, now turn back. Then you can sort of capture the, the real person there. OK, OK. One of the things that I see happening so much with with digital cameras now is um, food. Oh, right. And yeah. So I, I always laugh because I'm never I've never been one to take pictures of food. But you, you see that all the time now. <laughs> and then I do want to come back to why professional photography is better than trying to do it yourself. But I do know that you have some food things here that um, I'd like to, uh, well, there you go. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Well, food is really in this picture. It's actually green on, on this. It probably doesn't look as green. That is a lime. And I think it just didn't go over well here, but you know, food I've, I've done, you know, a couple of cookbooks. I've done food photography for bakeries and stuff, which is a lot of fun. You know, it's setting up a still life. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing with food, maybe we can see a can couple see more, one, is, is, uh, can we see the next one, Julia? Is to make it look delicious. This, this is, um, oh, no, go back. Yeah. This is really one of my favorite bakeries called Bashur. And I just, I bought these because I just had to photograph them. Mm -hmm. They were beautiful. It was around Valentine's day and love, love, love. I thought you can't get better than that for Valentine's day. And, um, so someone wants to know what's the secret to food photography? Well, the secret to food photography is how do you make it look delicious? Mm -hmm. You want to make it where somebody looks at it and goes, Oh, I want a bite of that. And, and, you know, you have to think about it when you set it up is what makes, what makes something look good. You know, if it's fruit or, or vegetables, you know, you, you want to have some highlights. There you go. You cut that open. Look at that. I mean, mm -hmm. who wouldn't want a bite of that? It's yeah. delicious. The guy is a genius. And, um, this is, you know, strawberries and whipped cream, but what brings a little personality to it? is throwing the beaters in there. That was sort of a last minute thought. I had the whipped cream. I had the strawberries. I'm like, well, what's going to make this look more personable? Yeah, yeah. You throw the beaters in and how and many fresh. So, you know, that it was yeah, just whipped. Fresh. Yeah, yeah. And how many kids want to lick a beater? Yeah. Or adults yeah, all for that matter. Them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know there was one picture of a chocolate cake or something. I was just like, wow. Uh, this, yeah, this, okay. That's an, that's a pastry. I mean, look at that thing. It looks just like the pears. That's why I put the that's pears. That's a pastry. Yeah. Open wow. it up and it's it's beautiful pear compote inside. Uh, and this is from a bakery. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like a good croissant and a cup of coffee, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I personally love coffee. So I... <laughs> <laughs> you threw a little chocolate in I'm there. I'm always, yeah, 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 I'm always yeah. happy to shoot a cup of coffee and and just the little detail with a spoon. You know, it's like okay, it's real. It's mm -hmm. it it makes it look a little more personable than just a cup of coffee sitting there. And so, I, I got to ask, this is a big mm -hmm. deal now. These the, the phones are coming out with these super duper cameras. They shoot 12 megs or or more. Right. 
3D. I mean, uh, iPhone is even now saying that you can shoot a video. I mean, a movie. Oh, you know. So, what do you think about that? You know? Well, I think that iPhones have come a long way. I mean, if I'm on a trip, I I take a lot of iPhone pictures. But if you compare them in the end to a professional camera, a professional camera has a lot more features. Um, you know, with a portrait, you can take something on your iPhone, but it's a very flat picture. Even if you're like working with some lights to have the shadows, it's a very flat picture because of the wide angle lens mm -hmm. sort of flattens your face a little bit. So when you're using a portrait lens, it gives the detail and just gives you a, a better look overall. So um, kind of depth of field. Kind depth, of? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I have sometimes people like, oh, I've got I, I've got a picture and maybe it's a friend and they send me something off their iPhone and say, can you can you make this work? And I'll I'll download it and I'll look at it and I'll put it in Photoshop and think, OK, I can make it better, but it's not going to be as good as a professional uh, photo. Plus, professional photography, you know. I help people pose. I, I take from different angles. I get a, a lot of times I have a little ladder. I can get above you. I can get below you. I can have you turn left to right and really capture different features of your face. So it, it really pays to, to hire a professional when you need not just a snapshot, you know, you're on vacay and, and you're, you know, taking pictures with your iPhone, that's great. I mean, it's its its a great thing to have and easy to have. But if you want a really good picture for your website or a family portrait you want to hang on your wall, go ahead and hire a professional. Okay, so, so you told me that you started this 20 years ago or so. Yeah. So uh -huh. what camera did you use then? And conversely, what do you use now? My very first camera was a Pentax mm -hmm. and it was film, of course. And somebody actually gave it to me. They said, ah, oh, got this camera and I can't even work it. So mm -hmm. I started playing around with that. And then I went to Nikon and I've been with Nikon ever since. And I, I was doing a lot of, of photography back in the print and slide days i worked for sharpshooters which is a stock photo agency and they would sell my pictures um and then we had hurricane andrew in 92 which i was in the eye and i don't know a lot of things happened and in the end our area was so bruised and battered that i quit for a long time mm -hmm. i just thought okay um i put my kids were in school and then i picked it back up because this woman wanted me to photograph her um, cookbook. And I said, I don't even do food. I said, I'm a portrait photographer. And, and she's like, Oh, no, I just want you to do it. And, and I said, Well, I said, let me, let me shoot some pictures and you give it to your publisher before you hire me. I said, because I wanted to make sure I could do what she needed. Mm -hmm. And that sort of reignited my career. I went back and I did food photography and I started doing portraits and, and at the time weddings again, but it had gone into digital mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. digital is great. I love digital. You don't have to worry about film, film. processing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you upload it yourself. It's immediate, but it took, you know, it was a curve. It was a learning curve. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. so, you know, you get higher and higher quality cameras. I, I work with a Nikon D5, which is a professional camera and lenses. And um, I'm very happy with with Nikon. A lot of people use Canon and Canon's a great a great camera, too. I mm -hmm. think, you know, they're there's some of the top two. There's a lot of really great cameras out there. Uh, Sony is, I'm told, really good. I, I oh, you Sony. Yeah. yeah. Sony's a great, yeah. a great um camera so it's it's really there's a lot of great cameras you just have to learn how Figure to use one. yeah one that you're working with and um it's interesting i started out with with a nikon i had an f1 many many years oh, ago, okay back in yeah the 80s and then 
I actually traded that for an Iconis, which was the Nikon's underwater camera. Oh, okay. It was completely built in and everything. And if had it been smart because it was so restricted as the use, I would have kept the F1 and just bought a housing for it, which they right. made, you know, so that was a mistake that I, yeah. you know, you learn because I actually traded someone, you know, and uh, today I was done. With this. Um, <laughs> but I shoot with a, a Canon now. I have, okay. a, I have a couple of Canons uh, that I use. I, I, I have what I call my big camera. And then I have, um, I, I teach underwater videography. So oh, I have good. a bunch of the small GoPros and um, they're great for the kids. The you know. GoPros are great. My son had one and he would put it on when he was skateboarding, which mm -hmm. really made me a nervous wreck. But uh, <laughs> watching it. Yeah. You know, yeah. A, but they're great. Yeah. They're great yeah, little great cameras. cameras. And so I, I am, um, you know, we, we talk about you and, and being in this community. And I bring that up over and over again that, um, you know, the value that certain people bring to our community and the fact that you've been here. You talked about Andrew. Um, which, quite frankly, quite by accident, you threw in how long you've been part of this community. Right, you know? right. And so, um, and that's a big deal because right. things have happened and you didn't leave. You stayed right. here, you toughed it out. Right. You're still here. Right. And and um, as we saw, you're, you're doing a lot with, you know, our our, our sisters to the north, Pine Crest, and, uh, well, not compared to where I am right now, <laughs> but, but uh, Pine Crest, Palmetto Bay, um, that whole area that's all still part of this wonderful South Dade community. Right. Yeah, and, absolutely. And we're so fortunate to have you here. Oh, and, thank you. Thank we, you. We um looking at some of your work and we didn't even scratch it, folks. Um, <laughs> did did we give Junior the, the website? Um oh, no. they could probably just Google you. Yeah, Kathleen yeah. Ballard Photography. Yeah, You'll you know, see me, and, and I've got Instagram under the same name, okay, Kathleen and, Ballard and Photography. Just walk through it and you'll see the art. Um, and lately, you know, you've they've been over the years, they've been talking about STEAM, um, which is science, technology, engineering and math. Right. And lately they've added an A to it. Uh, I said STEAM. I meant it, it's STEM. Now it's STEAM. Oh, OK. okay. To include the arts. Right. They add, and nice. that's what the A is for. And right. so um, we have gotten involved with that because it is a, an, an art craft. To, right. to create these images. That's why I use the word images. Right. Um, and and um, that what you do when I look at some of your work, it's purely art. Thank you know? you. And, and people Thank talk you. about um, photographing food and I see people do it all the time. Look what I'm eating now. You know, but the stuff that you've taken photos of, it makes you want to eat it, you know, <laughs> and I'm sure that's what your clients are looking for. But um, it's just it's tremendous to know. And, and let me ask you, do you do any work with instruction or, or, or you're just, you know, taking the, uh, well, you know, I, I try to help people. If anybody wants to know anything about photography, I don't, I don't give classes, mm -hmm. but I run into people. I did some judging for the Kindle Cl camera club. And I told people, you know, if you have any questions, you can come over and assist me. I'll show you anything I know. I'm, I'm, we're very happy to share any knowledge that I have because that's how I learned. I right. had friends that were photographers and they let me go on their shoots. And, and then, you know, I took workshops and stuff, which, which also, you perfect, know. Perfect. Perfect. And that's, that's what it's about. It's about sharing, you know, and, and making sure that what you do and your, your abilities are, are continued on. Right. You know? So, Wonderful. Thank you so much well, for thanks, being here. Thanks. You know, really a total pleasure. It. Yeah, yes. you made it very easy. See, you were able to make me feel comfortable. <laughs> well, you know, it's it, it, when you know, when a person knows what they're doing, what they're talking about, okay, it's very easy for me, you know, to essentially have a conversation. And really, if we look back at it, you did most of the talking, yeah. you know, which is what it's yeah. supposed to be about. That's how well, we thank learn. you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Folks, uh, thank you. I want to thank Kathleen Ballard thank for you. being here, first of all. And um, we, we want everyone to continue to come back because we're going to do this every week. We're going to highlight a business that's in our community. And we're going to make sure that everyone in South Dade knows that we have treasures like you here. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. And um, also, as, as being a member of the chamber, obviously, that's one of the things that we want to do is make sure that our members are highlighted. Okay, so. And, and you know, with the chamber, I, I offer a 15% discount for anybody who wants to have some pictures taken. Well, there you so, go. There see? you go. Yeah. And that wasn't even a shameless <laughs> plug. That was a good plug. So great. So we'll All see right. you guys next week. Thank you so much for joining us. And 
every week we're going to be here with a new or, or different member of our chamber. So until then, please, everyone, be 